Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasted DIY, and today we're doing a little review slash test of the John Deere Z735M, and this is a 2022 model. I guess it could technically be a 2021 model. I really haven't uh, looked at the VIN, but I, I did just buy it, and then this is, you know, mid-2022 recording this video, so we'll say 2021 or 2022, but... Yeah, so far, I've been uh, super happy with it. I think I've gotten about, I don't know, I'd guess around five hours on it. Let's see here, we actually do have an hour meter, of course. Uh, it looks like, oh, 6.2, all right. She's getting old. Uh, but so far, it's uh, really done an absolutely great job and I haven't had any uh, major complaints. I did have a couple when I first got it and that was one, um, you know, I went from a Z uh, 235, you know, which is like very, very base model, you know, 42 inch uh, cut. It wasn't the deep deck or anything, just uh, two blades. And it was a really basic mower. It did a great job, you know, max speed of around six and a half, seven miles an hour. Uh, probably some of the smallest tires and stuff you could get on like one of the um, John Deere's. That was a 2011. And the main problem I had with it was, you know, for one, I'm cutting almost... Uh, five acres probably about in terms of actual cutting I'd say like three and a half to four but <clears throat> it was a very bumpy ride um, because a lot of my yard you know I mean as you can see right here I got a lot of like moles and other things like that and this is not the most even yard a lot of hills a lot of trees to go around um, and it was a very very bumpy ride the only thing that the old mower had in terms of shocks was it had the little standard springs right in the back here just under the seat it also had the really low cut um, you know, one piece John Deere seat, no uh, armrest or anything. But you know, overall, great mower, and uh, you know, it only held held about two and a half gallons of uh, gas, and I think this one holds uh, close to ten. So it's definitely a lot nicer. And then one thing that helps out with the ride being bumpy is one, you got bigger tires in the front and back, so the casters are a lot bigger, tires are a lot bigger. Another thing that I did was I kind of aired these down to around twelve psi. They usually come at about twenty, give or take which, um, you know, is definitely going to make this thing the easiest to roll. It'll also help uh, with gas mileage if that's something that worries about you. But if your yard's kind of bumpy or you have a lot of terrain, definitely air down those tires to um, really help them grip and also to make it a little comfier. Another thing that this mower has in a lot of the, I believe it starts at the Z5 or the Z7 series, um, is the, the Comfort Glide seat, which you can see right here. Now, one mistake that I had made when I first got this mower is I didn't even look at this and it was in the locked position, meaning the seat was not able to, so if you look here, you can probably kind of see the seat has room to move forwards and go up and down. It has about two inches of travel in like every direction. So I had that locked and that made this thing a lot bumpier. It honestly made it feel like my old mower. And I was like, wow, I just spent, you know, over nine grand on this and, uh, it, it doesn't even feel that much better. Now another thing you get is the seat belt and also the rollover protection. So I have mine down because I made the mistake that I'm sure almost everyone has made where you're going under a freaking tree, you're going pretty quick and the mower goes whoop. And that happened to me and after that I was like, all right, I'm, I'm leaving this down. Not that I don't think it's a great idea, um, especially if you have like hills and stuff, because I do have some hills that I just choose not to even mess with. I don't even bother going on them with the mower. Uh, if they're steep enough, I just go over it with like a weed eater or I have like a push mower that I'll use. So I just play it safe. I I'm not using the roll bar currently, like I said, just because it's, it was more of a hazard after that tree situation. I have a lot of low hanging trees. Another thing it has is a trailer hitch mount. So you can mount a, a ball to it or you can use it like a clevis pin and um, you know use it to move stuff around there's a lot of john deere accessories and attachments for these you can of course get striping kits mulching kits um <clears throat> the only things i really added onto mine was i added the rubber mats i added the foot pegs and i also bought a canopy top which is not in yet and i i'm not gonna lie i kind of regret buying it i mean it was one of those things where you know i was at the dealer and i was like sure why not let's see the canopy top it's like you know 150 bucks or something add-on basically your roll bar has to be up you put the top over it i would love it it's just i'm worried because I have a lot of low hanging trees and I wasn't really thinking about how high this thing sits up. So I'm not sure how often I'll actually use it, but we'll see, it definitely looks super cool. So yeah, I mean, and then in terms of the mower itself, I have not filled it um, since I got it. They brought it to me filled, I believe, with uh, zero, or a little more, um, probably like 0.05 hours or whatever, 0.5 hours. And now 
I have gotten about six, I think it was 6.2, 6.5 hours. And uh, you can see right here, we got a manual fuel gauge. I still have about a quarter of a tank left. So yeah, I mean, not, not too bad, at least in my opinion. I mean, I'm not really sure how great of mileage other mowers get, but um, those are all cutting hours too. I haven't really been like, you know, just driving it around or anything. And um, uh, what do you call it? A low RPM. That's been pretty much max RPM blades going. So definitely not too bad. Now, another thing that this has that's uh, pretty nice and some of the other motors don't have is uh, to actually get your deck up so you can see here I just locked now my deck is in the up position and so you can see this right here you push forwards either foot and then release that and there you go so it's really cool because it's like a, a quick um, mechanism where you can change your uh, height right here so I have mine right now set to well I guess it would oh it's probably two inch that's what I'm guessing or it's here. I don't, you know, I honestly don't know. I haven't really paid enough attention to know if this is the notch or this is it. I just know that I like the current height. You can kind of see right there. Um, so there's like over, overgrown grasses right here along the fence. And then this is like, I just cut that uh, right on the edge there with the mower. So we're gonna put this back down. Now, another thing this has is a manual choke. My old mower used to have it to where like you had to push past uh, full throttle and then you had choke. That was kind of annoying because sometimes when I'd go to uh, you know throttle up, I'd go into choke and then it would like kill the mower. Um, of course, it's electronic blade on and off. Um, you have your, your key right here. And I think this one actually has, well, maybe. I thought it had a cigarette lighter uh, somewhere, like a 12 volt port. Um, Man, I'm like, am I being dumb? I could have sworn that I had one, like, in here or somewhere like that, but I don't know. I'm not going to spend too long looking for it, because, you know, we've got a video to do. Um, but now, this is the Briggs & Stratton with, like, the easy oil change and everything, where it's basically toolless, which I, I loved on the old mower. I thought that was just so genius, um, how they got all that figured out. So, definitely happy to um, still have that same system. Um, but yeah, foot pegs are definitely definitely a nice feature. I thought they were kind of dumb, but they were like, I don't know, like 20 or 30 bucks. And I was like, well, I'm already spending over $8,000 in this. Let's just add it. And I definitely wanted the rubber mats. It helps keep a lot of the grass coming through. And also, it, believe it or not, does slightly help with vibration and stuff. You know, your feet don't shake quite as much with this. So it's definitely nice. Another thing I love about this is the e-brake is actually, if you hear that click, that's the e-brake. So as long as these are in the neutral position, not only are you in neutral, you also have your e-brake on, which I really like. My old mower had like the typical orange handle. And sometimes that was a little annoying because if I needed to get off, you know, I got dogs and a lot of toys in the backyard. I always had to go through and do a lot of work. You know, I had to uh, basically turn the blades off. I usually would throttle down. I had to do my brake and then I had to put it in the neutral and make sure it was all the way there or else the mower would die. When I got up now, um, all I have to do is just make sure the blades are off make sure that both of the arms are over and then I'm good to go. These are also like the comfort grips. Honestly, kind of gimmicky to me. I don't really fully, I, they just add some extra curves. So I guess you can figure out like where you want to grab it, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd consider that like a feature I'd pay extra for exactly. But as you can see, we have been, we've been absolutely going at it. We've been doing the backyard, which is where like the most acreage is. So I figured before I finish up, I should probably get some video of it so I can actually uh, show you guys the mower. But let's go ahead and start it so you guys can hear that. I'm not gonna need to choke it or anything. So we'll put the throttle all the way down, make sure the blades are off or neutral. And so I don't know if this gives you an idea on how loud or quiet the mower is, but it's definitely not bad. I think it's a little bit quieter than my last, uh, the Z235 was with the much smaller motor, so, or engine. So yeah, I mean, it's really not too bad. Once you throw, we'll go full throttle, I guess hear that. So this is me talking again. You might not be able to hear me at all. But... So if you guys can even hear me there, that was me talking again over the mower. Full throttle is definitely loud. Um, once you turn the blades on, it <clears throat> surprisingly doesn't get a ton louder. I mean, it gets a little bit louder. My last mower, you'd go from being able to really not have to have headphones in to you have to have headphones in once you turn those blades on. With this one, I'd say, I mean, I just wear headphones regardless, uh, earbuds, but I mean, you don't have to, it's not that deafening. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the best I can to use this tripod here and uh, get some time lapse and stuff of me cutting the grass.
So there you go. We just cut about, uh, I don't know. I mean, that was probably a total of <laughs> three minutes to cut, mm, I would say about 4,000 4, square feet, give or take. Um, so yeah, I mean, not, not too bad at all. It's definitely, they consider this to be like the mower that's in between residential and commercial. I don't see why you couldn't use this just fine for commercial and honestly even some of their smaller mowers I think would be just fine for commercial but hey that's just me I'm not a commercial mower I don't uh, do this for a living but I've been very happy with it another thing to note too is this grass is definitely I would say fairly tall I mean a little bit taller than some people would let it get because um, I usually cut the backyard every two cuts rather than every uh, single time I do the front yard and the grass is also wet right now um, it has been raining a ton, so grass is pretty wet, so it's definitely clumping a little bit, but so far nothing has um, stopped this mower from getting all the grass out great. And uh, yeah, I mean, we have low hours obviously, but yeah, those blades are definitely beautiful looking. No uh, nicks or dings or anything yet, so definitely looking good. So if you guys uh, you know, have any questions on these mowers, want any more content on it, once I go and do like the uh, maintenance, um, cause these mowers technically don't, I, from what I was reading, they don't have a break in period. Um, just after 10 hours, you go through tighten everything up, but you don't change the oil, just do it seasonal. Um, and, and that's like in my opinion, normally seasonal, I'll probably just end up, if they sell the maintenance kit, I'll do the you know plugs, air filter, fuel filter, um, and the actual uh, oil filter and oil, just because I'd rather just get it done all at once. And like I said, these, my, these um, Briggs and Strattons, it's super quick and easy to do. I would say about 45 minutes to an hour, uh, maybe even quicker once you have done it a couple times and you're good at it. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like and also comment down below if you have this mower, thinking about getting one, have any more questions on them. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.